Good morning, everyone. It's Megan here, the Healing Foods Coach. I hope you're all doing well. Monday, the 25th of August, or 26th of August. Uh, for those of us in the UK, happy bank holiday. So I hope you're all doing well. It is about 8.30 here in the morning in Colchester, and just feeling super inspired, super strong and encouraged and excited and just wanted to share with you guys. So I actually managed to get up again this morning um, and went out for a morning walk. And actually, it was amazing. I was up for an hour and walked about three miles and I felt fantastic. And I wanted to share that because uh, this is now day four of me getting up and moving first thing in the day. And I don't know what will happen when the weather turns bad and uh, it gets colder and wetter. But I hope that it's going to be enough of a habit that I'll still be getting up. I might have to invest in some good rain gear, but um, I'm hoping that's the case because I feel so much better once I've gotten up and moved. And of course, if you're not able to move yet, please don't feel guilty. Please don't feel less than. Um, that's not my point. I'm just wanting to share how every day is, is, is exciting to me. Every time I can move, I'm excited and I'm thrilled and I'm grateful because I couldn't for almost nine years. So for that, I am truly thankful and blessed. And just more I wanted to share that it could be possible and there could be hope. And whether you want to call yourself a low carber, a keto person, a ketovore person, or a carnivore person, I think it's safe to say that all of us following an animal-based proper human diet are absolutely on the pathway to improved health overall, physically, mentally, emotionally, in my case, also spiritually. And that's what I hope for you guys. Whether you want to do a low carb, keto, carnivore, ketovore, lion diet, or something in between that, that doesn't have a name yet approach, it's all good. Whenever we choose to eat at least 70% or more of our, of our daily food from an animal source, we are winning. We are, we are getting to a place where we are going to help improve our health, nourish our bodies, and find that improvement in our health and our healing. Now, I am so thankful that I managed to talk myself into walking today. For me, that's a skill that is new that I am building on. So if I have days where I don't quite make it, I will let you guys know. I'll keep you posted. Um, and again, it's not because I'm, I'm not in doing anything overly intense. I went out for an hour, just an hour, which in my case worked out to about a three mile walk and it was fantastic. So we're just getting ready to have my breakfast here and I felt amazing. And if you're not ready for an hour, that's okay because I wasn't always either. 15 minutes and if you can't move first thing in your day, any kind of movement at all in the day is always good. And for me, what I've realized is if I get up and move first, then I'm building energy, building um, alertness and excitement for the day. Now, I've been off caffeine for over a month, so that's not in my system, which is great. But I got to tell you, even once I got through that initial transition period of coming off of caffeine, I still found myself feeling exhausted by about three in the afternoon. And I couldn't figure out what it was. Now, I don't know if it's because I'm walking now first thing in the day that's getting my dopamine levels up, that's giving me that extra burst of energy, but it lasts throughout the day. I have the energy to do things throughout the day. I understand. It's only four days in of doing this, but I feel fantastic. You don't have to necessarily go to a gym. You don't have to necessarily buy expensive kit and pick up a sport if you want to obviously do that. But I find even getting up first thing in the morning, doing a great big stretch, kind of a yawn and a stretch, and then getting dressed and putting on my shoes, even those movements of getting changed, getting shoes on, helps up. It feels like the dopamine levels are upping already, and I'm excited, and I can't wait to get out the door. That's me, but I had to work to get to that point. So if you're not there yet, absolutely cool. No judgment of any kind whatsoever. Um, I just realized I had to make the decision to stick to it. And I think for me, the key was 
I couldn't keep looking forward to, oh my gosh, I have to do this every single day forever. Like, what if I'm tired? What if I'm sick? What if I get hurt? What if I can't, what if something happens and I can't walk that day? Instead of worrying about the things that have not come, I'm really trying to embrace the concept of take the moment as it happens. I look forward to the future. As I, as I mentioned in, in my one of my previous videos, I've got a couple of really big projects on the go right now that I'm working on that I will update you guys on once, once they are closer to completion. But I have some big things in the works right now, which is very exciting. Um, but even if I didn't, I look forward to the future, you know. Um, next year, hopefully, the three of us will go visit our my younger son in Canada. Or maybe we'll look at getting a slightly bigger house or, you know, that type of thing. So it's not that I don't look forward to the future, but I'm trying to practice enjoying the moments in the present with the excitement of a future, but not the anxiety that comes with it. I hope that helps. Um, and to be honest with you, none of this, obviously, as I've said in, I think, all my videos, all of this is possible because God is amazing and he's helped heal me by eating an animal-based diet, by eating a proper human species appropriate diet. That has made the difference. And that was all God led me to finding keto, which then led me to carnivore, which allowed me to get rid of the things harming me, improve my health, my mental well-being, my spiritual well-being, and the rest, as I say, is now history. But it's, it's incredible. I feel better Every single day, I feel just that tiny bit better. When I think I feel as good as I possibly can, the next day I wake up and I feel even just that little bit better. That is God healing me, absolutely. Through proper human nutrition and a proper human diet, which in my case is carnivore, but for some of you that could be low-carb or keto. In other words, you may be including some low-carb plants. You may be including some fruits. You may be including full-fat dairy. All things are good. Those things, if you tolerate them, can be very helpful. I personally don't, as I've shared before. But if you do, and you're finding your health is incredible, is getting better and better, and you're, all the things you want to see improving are absolutely amazing, keep going. Don't change it if it's working for you. Absolutely, why would you bother, right? But today I just wanted to say, hey guys, look, I understand the, the, uh, the concept and the, the, the reality of you're determined to do something. You absolutely have every intention of doing it. And then something happens and you talk yourself out of it. I'm not talking about you wake up and suddenly you're paralyzed from the waist down. Or you wake up and you are sick to your stomach. And therefore you cannot go out walking or get to the gym. That's different. That's an understandable reason. Um, but I'm trying very much to change the direction of my thoughts thinking and a lot of times it's a mental game and we often talk ourselves out of or into things that later on we wish we had not right and that's all part of it that's life in a lot of ways but I did it today I got up I went for my walk feel amazing just about to have my breakfast which let me just give you a quick glance here that is four scrambled egg yolks with Chicken breasts fried up in some butter. Yummy to yum, yum, yum. Can't wait to have that. And a decaf coffee. And I can't wait. And I hope whatever you guys are deciding to eat, whatever you guys get up to, whatever you make of today, I hope that you are um, having good days. I hope that you feel encouraged. I hope that you are feeling hopeful. Hopefully this video has played a part in that. But if it hasn't, that's okay too. Um... I know I'm, I'm not the end-all be-all, but if in some way I can help encourage you guys, maybe kind of help motivate you to make whatever decisions or take actions for decisions you've made, maybe to get up and move a bit more, to put on your, put on your workout gear and your shoes and head outside. Even if you don't make it all the way to the gym, walk around your block, walk around your yard. Movement, it's important, right? Um, and if again, if you don't have mobility, Please don't feel bad. Every time you decide to cut out the processed junk food and the seed oils and the refined sugars, that too is a huge step forward. And that's almost, 
that would almost be most the most important priority. One is clearing that junk out of your diet. Healing as much as you can because most of my healing happened before I had mobility. The 100 pounds I lost cut out all the refined processed crap and then the stuff that was causing me irritation and inflammation. That's what I did. I lost that weight not because I could go to the gym every day because I cut out the stuff that was causing me to gain weight and be sick and inflamed. And so sometimes just changing your diet can have dramatic effects. It's true. But hopefully take those intentions and turn them into actions. Whatever your day is, whatever you get up to, whatever's happening with your life, I hope you find today encouraged and inspired in some way, even if it's not by me, that's fine. But whatever helps motivate you, gives you hope, gives you encouragement, gives you the determination to keep going, that's amazing. And I wish that for you today. Thank you so much for watching uh, my videos, for subscribing, for supporting me, uh, and also for all your kind words, your comments, and your questions. Please keep, keep up with that. I love hearing from you guys. I wish you all the very best day today. I thank you so much for your support. I will see you in tomorrow's video with more content. Bye for now.